AI is officially taking over the world of game development. Google just dropped Genie 2, an AI so advanced it can build entire 3D game worlds in seconds. Lighting, physics, NPCs, the whole package. It's if like Unreal Engine, Blender, and a AAA game studio had a baby, and that baby was on steroids. But here's the kicker. This isn't happening in a vacuum. Just two weeks ago, we had Oasis, an AI-driven Minecraft experiment that caused as much controversy as it did excitement. Oasis promised fully AI-generated worlds, but it often felt like watching a toddler try to build a Lego set. An impressive effort, but everything fell apart after a few seconds. Genie 2 takes things to a whole new level. It's bigger, and actually looks like it might know what it's doing. The question is, are we witnessing the future of game development, or is this just another flash AI tool destined to create more problems than it solves. Let's break it down. Genie 2 is Google DeepMind's new AI tool designed to generate entire 3D worlds from just a text prompt or an image. Imagine typing something as simple as a cyberpunk western with neon lit deserts, and Genie 2 spits out a fully explorable environment, complete with realistic lighting, physics, and animations. It works in two steps. First, it uses an image, which can be even generated by a text prompt as a starting point. Then, it extrapolates that into a full 3D world. You can even use standard game controls like WASD to explore. Want to walk into that neon lit saloon? You can. Want to blow it up? Probably also an option. Basically, Genie 2 is like combining Unreal Engine, Blender, and a room full of overworked game devs, except they don't need coffee breaks. Let's not undersell this. Why horrifically terrifying, some people are saying that for indie developers, this could be a golden ticket. Solo creators or small teams can now make massive, complex worlds without needing a billion dollar budget or a team of 100 artists. For big studios, it's a way to prototype faster and crank out ideas like there's no tomorrow. And for players, it could mean more games, more creative, weird, and wonderful ideas hitting the market. Or so they say. Want to play a game about a pirate cat in space? Someone could make that happen. But as with all revolutionary ideas, there's a fine line between brilliance and disaster. Genie 2 doesn't just generate worlds. It creates worlds you can interact with. Picture this. Balloons pop when you slash them. Water flows with realistic physics. NPCs react to the world around them and can even follow player commands. Google even showed off an AI character that could recognize the command go through the door, understand its surroundings, and execute the task. It's like training a puppy, but instead of fetching a ball, it's navigating a cyberpunk dystopia. It all feels like magic, but if you've ever watched a magician, you know that this trick comes with a catch. Here's the awkward part. Genie 2 has commitment issues. Right now, the world it generates falls apart after about 20 seconds. Objects glitch, physics break, and everything descends into chaos faster than a multiplayer game of Uno. And there's a deeper issue. Even if AI worlds become more stable, can they ever feel as intentional and emotionally resonant as those created by humans? It's like the difference between eating at a Michelin star restaurant and getting McNuggets at the drive-thru. Both are satisfying, but only one leaves a lasting impression. This is where things get spicy. For big studios and corporations, Genie 2 could be a cost-cutting dream. Imagine cranking out prototypes like they're coming off of an assembly line. For indie developers, this could potentially be a chance to punch away above your weight. Suddenly, you don't need to be a massive studio to create something breathtaking. But for people like myself, artists and designers, this is a little more ominous. If AI can generate worlds, what happens to the people who have spent years perfecting those skills? Is Genie 2 here to assist, or is it here to replace? The reaction so far has been a mix of, this is incredible, and this is terrifying. Some see Genie 2 as a game changer, a tool that will democratize game creation and usher in a new wave of creativity. Others think it's all hype, pointing to the fact that its worlds barely hold together for 20 seconds. Oasis faced the same criticism. It felt like a glimpse into the future, but not one we're quite ready to live in yet. Genie 2 might be further along, but the jury is is still out on whether it's the real deal or just another AI experiment that makes headlines before fading away. For gamers, the promise of Genie 2 is more games to play and more unique ideas to explore. But let's be real, quantity doesn't always mean quality. If we've learned anything from Steam, it's that making games easier to produce can flood the market with low effort cash grabs. Separating the gems from the trash would be the real challenge for players. So what's next for Genie 2? If the tech improves, we could see AI-generated worlds that are stable, polished, and indistinguishable from handcrafted ones. It might even integrate with tools like Unreal Engine, becoming a must-have for game developers. But the big question still remains, can AI enhance creativity without replacing it. I remain skeptical, because the last thing we want is for every game to start feeling like it was spat out by an algorithm. Genie 2 is like that friend who's amazing at parties, but terrible with responsibility. On one hand, it's a powerful tool that could democratize game development and push the boundaries of what's possible. On the other, it could flood the market with soulless creations, displace skilled artists, and open up a Pandora's box of ethical dilemmas. Whether it's a blessing or a curse depends on how we use it, and how much control we are willing to give up to the machines. So what do you think? Is Genie 2 the future of game development? or is it just the latest overhyped AI experiment? Let me know in the comments. And if you're not already subscribed, Genie2 might just create an AI version of you that does it for me. Until next time, stay curious.